Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video of the Slime Crafter. I know it's been a while. As you can see, I murdered some wolves here last time. And uh, I, I liked it. I'm trying... Uh, remember how my game, yeah? My, my game? It... Remember how I told you guys that the file, the game file, got corrupted? And I had to reload to an older save. And as such, the thing, the game had to uh, reload to an older save and I didn't have my good friends. The I didn't have anything from the thing. I can't words today. I didn't have anything from the wasp queen. There's no way I'm letting one of these hit things hit me. Run, run, run. There's way too many dangers out here. Let's head home, go to sleep, you know. All that stuff. I hear something and I'm afraid of it. As I am on for most things. Alright, fire ants. Sick. Mm, let me get the grass seeds. If I see anything of interest, I'm run I'm going I'm gonna get it. I love the game's graphics. They're cool. Hey. You guys wanna know a fun fact about ants? If you guys didn't know, ants and bees are part of a group known as Hymenoptera. They are related to wasps and I am pretty sure are descended descended from wasps. Ants and bees, uh, ant colonies uh, first came around during the Cretaceous. Well, first, they were first located in the Cretaceous uh, era. And as such, they, they've been around since the dinosaurs. They literally took over planet Earth. A theory of how these guys uh, began, began uh, building nests together and living in a colony, like a proper, proper colony, is that at first, they would live n near each other for, de uh, for defense. The, and so, if you look at the solitary bee, it lives alone, it, it lives alone, it uh, grows its own larvae, larvae alone, all of that. Uh, but, it always lives near other one, other members of its species. Because, uh, thing. It would always uh, live near other members of its species for de for protection against predators. Because if one were to come by, it would just it would just get the rest of its uh, members of its species to live around it and attack with it. Similar to how a uh, a thing what what do you call it? Uh, similar to um. Similar to puffins, yeah. Puffins, if you didn't know, they live. They like to live to, uh, in one, uh, in one area, sort of like a neighborhood. Yeah. So they love. Uh, oh yeah, here, here. We're gonna have to redo this boss fight. Let's see this.
All right, now the wasps are all over the yard. Hooray, hooray. Now I can beat someone up. Oh. Alright, so basically, uh, hmm. like, uh, solitary bees, like puffins, would live in a sort of neighborhood. Yeah, all together. No women crying, but... They would, uh, and so if a predator, predator were to attack them, they would just, uh, just call upon their fellow bees and, and get them to kill them. Because, like, yeah. And a theory on how they, uh, think, evolved into doing, uh, like, a proper, proper colony, is that they would always be, uh, be near, uh, another member. And they would all, uh, and then they began starting living next to each other and stuff like that. Hmm. Attack plus imperfect block. And do I want that or do I want parry heal? Yeah. So it's a bit, it's very good. I bet you, I'm surprised that a wasp like, or something like a wasp will eventually just give up uh, the land-based dwelling. Because it doesn't make much sense, does it? If you really think about it, it really doesn't make much sense. Shouldn't flying for an insect be a lot, a lot safer than walking on the ground? Because if you really, really think about it with that brain of yours, yeah? You really, really think about it? I don't... Like... It really doesn't seem like it's worth losing flight if you're gonna, uh, think... Uh, it doesn't seem like losing flight is worth it for the ground. But I mean, then again, ants are extremely uh, successful regardless, so I can't exactly say some anything to them. Like, bro, they invented agriculture way before us did. Us apes did. Us monkey people. Let me see what else I can make. I can make mech and bees. Hmm. So yeah, it doesn't seem worth it to lose flight for the ground. But I mean, who am I to talk? I'm not an ant. Or am I? My bad, I had to do something. I don't know, give me a second. My bad guys, something happened, but yeah. Uh, siblings, if you know what I mean. So yeah. It doesn't make much sense. But I mean, ants are one of the most successful, uh, successful species on planet Earth. They outnumber humans by a lot, so I'm, I mean, I guess that's good. Beefy liquid rage, anger, drinkable anger in liquid form. I'm gonna be using a lot of these things, aren't I? Uh, I'm. Imagine if ants gain sapience. Like, just one day, the humble little ant just go, just starts living in super colonies, similar to that Argentine ant, actually. Starts living in proper, proper super colonies. And then they develop sapience. Imagine how cool that would be, living with uh, 
the shapeshifter ants. Ooh, that sounds that kind that sounds kind of cool. Shapeshifter ants. You know what? I'm gonna start a speculative biology project. All right, you asked for this, buddy. That's what happens when you mess with me. I am. Uh, uh. I'm sorry, but time's up for me, guys. I know that I cut this video short more than normal, but this is the end of this video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like, subscribe for more creative content. <laughs> I had to say it like that. Leave a like, subscribe for more creative content. I mean, you don't have to, but subscribe if you if you enjoy my content. Just the, you know what? Just you don't have to. You know, just subscribe. You know, it's free. You know, nah, I'm kidding. Don't subscribe if you don't have if you don't wanna. But yeah. Uh, thing. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a and leave a like and just share it or whatever. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.